first time the sawmill turns on, it fries the meter. All right, the mill truck has been in possession all summer. This is the first 45 degree morning. She's been sitting four or five days now. Let's do a good old 7i, 7.3 IDI cold start. We'll give it two cycles. I mean, it's only 45 degrees, but it's still a little chilly. So we'll try it again at 20. That, that'll be the true test. There's no way this is flat yet. We're just gonna see where we're at. <laughs> it's pretty close. Mill has the extension on it. So this is the original mill and then you can get the extension. So here's the joint, quarter inch there. Let's see if the corner's touching. Cause it can be so rigid that the corner's not even touching, which is the truth in this case, so. We'll get this supported, which we really, we want to do concrete blocks, but um, we're going to do gravel for now, just to get this level. Can you imagine if this is on a perfectly flat concrete pad? How easy it'd be? Shoot it a little bit. Okay. Mm, pretty good. Start at this corner down here. Time to do the uppers. Oh, that's pretty close, man. That's awesome. This one's bent. It got hit somehow. I didn't do it. So you get it tight. You lock it off. Then you do the cam. Same thing, this is in good, good shape here. I don't wanna pour a pad yet because I don't know the efficiencies of the space. But a pad would be perfect. This is, the expense of it is a huge investment, but it's also, it doesn't move when you're done pouring it, so. I don't know where we want it. So we have to play this stupid game of playing with gravel. We could do concrete blocks and stuff, but we're just wanna get it set up today to at least run it. Okay, I think it's pretty good. Everything's within, what is the bubble? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's within a, geez. It's in, within the line in the middle. It's just, it's just kind of getting it perfectly within the line. So it is, Close to level. All right, last thing. All right, John Henry. There you go, switch. Ah, yes. Send it. Nice. Sawmill is fairly level. Now we just gotta finish this electrical, which there's a whole video by that. There's a whole video by itself of getting this set up. Just gotta do a couple things, nip and tuck it. I'll be ready to rock. You gotta cover this ground here. I'm just copying what the electrician did the first time. And uh, I didn't make this up. Get your red. My red one's stripped. This thing's lived a long life, I think. And I've just made it live a longer one. Remember I said this one's stripped. There it is. Don't go anywhere. Like that.
I think we're good to go. Let's turn on the power. Fifty <laughs> sevens are not again. This is not the thing, the stuff to use to make permanent compaction, but. I know it's as simple as that, it really is. You can make things permanent, but this is really how you can set up one of these swing blades. Just have bunks that are holding the log, the log is the weight, and, and you make, the question is are we gonna make notches or not? I can't decide, other than just setting up the log there with wedges on each side, which I think is what I'll do, because permanent bunks, which is what we're gonna cut right now, we're gonna cut our bunks, then we'll put wedges in that. So we're gonna cut four by sixes and uh, and they'll be all the way across. And we'll build a perfectly flat bed of four by six lumber that uh, will be the base, will be almost a deck when we're done with it. All right, let's jump into the, the junky parts of the log pile. We need to make the bunks. So we have the temporary six by six pressure treated bunks, but we want four foot, maybe five foot wide, um, four by sixes, four foot level, we'll do eight footers. How many pulls does the 95 take? One. Pencil. We're just gonna turn on the, the big motor to see if it's out of phase. The small drive motor's humming, and uh, but it's not jammed. The, the bearing and, and the pulley can all spin freely, so I think it might be a phase issue. But this will tell if it tell us if it is. So we'll turn it on. We'll just leave this on open to look at it. If this runs perfect, then we have a problem with the wiring that's going to that motor. I don't know. One, two, three, four. One, two, you see the blinking? Four, it says phase loss. So we'll get the multimeter. One of the phases might be open, meaning somewhere in the wiring, maybe over here when I disconnected and I fixed that plug, I messed it up. What'd I say? We were missing a phase, didn't I? Sure did. We were missing a phase. I should run. All right.
First time the sawmill turns on, it fries the meter. 200 amp service. Not tripped. That's fine. Bro, look at this fusible link. I think I'm right. Zoom in, do you see it? Like the copper, it should be touching, I think. I never, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna...